It all started at Simpson. I was interested in academics in high school, but I really didn't have the opportunity to research or really even know what it was. I chose Simpson College because I was looking at doing pre-medicine. Um, I heard that Simpson College had a really good biology department. Talking with the math department here at Simpson, I liked it the best of all the ones that I have looked at. And I know Simpson is probably the, one of the best math departments in the state. You know, Simpson's so great because it has leadership possibilities, um, a lot of extracurriculars, and that was really important to me. It just seemed like it had the best networking, so I would be sure that I had a job when I graduated. Simpson is well known for its academics, and I really wanted a school that would challenge me. And then I came here, and I loved the campus. It was beautiful, and then I met some of the biology professors, and I just loved it. And I think the final thing is just the close relationship with the professors. They um, do a lot of one-on-ones, they really care about you, um, they really are there to help you learn and to walk alongside you. The thing that's unique about Simpson compared to all the other places I've worked and gone to school at is the departments here all kind of overlap. We have chemists working with physicists, working with biologists, working with the math department. Interdisciplinary research is going to be huge over the next few years because if you want to solve new exciting problems, you need new techniques to do that. And uh, I think Simpson's the best place for it. We just submitted an early career National Science Foundation grant. The grant's for a little over $500,000 to do science research on DNA nanotechnology. The sky is the limit when you, when you talk about nanotechnology and we've, uh, we, we, we think we're going to be big players in that in the upcoming years. You know, we want to make sure that Simpson stays on the map for being a great place to do undergraduate research. Well, I knew I wanted to do something over the summer to try to continue an education without taking classes. Just enjoy kind of looking at the trends and data and trying to make predictions. We just finished this summer working with the, uh, the Bryan program because um, the Bryans have been very, very generous. Any other area could apply for the research. Um, you had to turn in just what your experience was with any other research, why you wanted to do it, what were your reasons behind applying, and then a short idea of what you might be interested in doing research on. Bryan's summer research program is just probably the perfect uh, thing for me to do over the summer. I get to stay on campus and do research and be paid and get funded for everything. And also saw it as being useful for gaining experience for possible jobs. I just wanted to see if there were going to be real showable, provable results. And so when I heard about the different opportunities for research projects, I knew it was something I wanted to get involved in. I wanted to see why what we are studying really mattered and how it could impact and change the world. So my group basically wrote a computer program for fantasy football in a draft. Worked on trying to engage students using technology and reading, how to enhance their reading through technology. So I decided it would be a cool way to look at how invasive grasses or new types of grasses introduced to an area would affect the small mammals in that area. I was a double major in psychology and religion and so that provided a lot of opportunity for me to see how the disciplines could talk to one another and to do some cross-disciplinary work. We used a framework that's kind of complicated. It combined technology, pedagogy, and content knowledge. So what we're supposed to learn, how we teach it, and using technology to hit the sweet spot right in the middle. Prior to this, I never had much programming experience, which was what I had to use a lot to analyze the data. Um, over the summer, I've learned quite a bit with programming. It took about two weeks to get comfortable with it, and then after that, everything kind of took off. For the process I did, it was about four weeks of trapping, a week of prep, and then a week of analyzing my data. Well, research in general, there's a few different perspectives you could look at it from. On the first hand, it's great at getting students involved. Students are going to learn things way better if they're engaged in doing something rather than just sitting in a static classroom. It was kind of exciting just because we got to work with real students. I got to like be in the process. The other reason is, uh, of course, the practical benefits of it. It really taught me how research works, all the processes that go into it. It's not just, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to have results. It's more, I need to figure out what I'm doing and dealing with issues as it arises. Also the entrepreneurship aspect of it. It's kind of cool to be able to say that you've done something that nobody's ever really done before or figured out. For that brief moment, you're the only person on the planet who's ever had that bit of knowledge. And then you get to share that with other people. We also presented to a group of peers, students, uh, other people on campus were invited to come and listen to us talk. and. 
that was really great to have the opportunity to talk in front of a group of people and I think that's one thing Simpson does really well is encouraging students to find their voice and to also articulate their research interest. Yeah, potentially if you do a good job and you make something that is society deems useful, uh, potentially we can start bringing some money into Simpson. Research is probably one of the coolest things you can do when you're at college because you're not just learning new things in the classroom, you're applying them. It's an incredible experience. Not many small schools have research that people can do. It helps you learn about something and it helps you help others learn. Research really intrigues me now and really want to kind of continue that. There's a lot of exciting things on the horizon.